Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the Marcos Movies channel, a place to learn more, know more, and talk more about movies. On this channel I rate, review, and react to movies, so if you enjoyed today's video, please consider clicking that subscribe button and turn the notification button so you never miss another upload of mine. So as today's video is titled and thumbnail states, I'm going to be seeing Tenet for the very first time. So I'm very excited about this right now because I'm going to the movies for the first time since I saw Invisible Man about five, six months ago. I kind of feel like I'm doing something illegal right now, <laughs> going to the movies. So yeah, so as this video kind of says, this is me going to the movies. I'm going to basically- Us going to Oh yeah, to the my movies. sister's joining. I forgot she's recording Special me. Special guest. So basically how these are going to work, these are going to be different than my first reaction videos. These are going to be called first impression videos. Basically, this is where I go to the movies. I'm going to go see it. I'm kind of going to show you a little bit of the theater. Then I'll show you some clips of the trailer. And then me and whoever I'm with, or just me if I go alone, because, you know, I'm a loser. <laughs> I will come and talk to you about the movie. Spoiler no free. Basically, we'll, I'll kind of review the movie, spoiler free, give you my thoughts, say if I recommend it, give it a grade, and then I'll talk spoilers for the people who have seen it. So that's how these videos are gonna work. So as I said, I'm joined by my sister, Maria. Hi. I don't that's know what to say. say. I don't like being like alone. You don't like being alone? Are you excited to see Tenet? Yeah. So what, so what do you know about Tenet? I don't know anything. I'm going into this blind. So, I haven't even seen the trailer. So I know a shit ton about this movie because I am a huge Christopher Nolan fan. I'm so hyped that I love his Batman movies. I love Inception. I love Insomnia. The only movie I haven't seen of his is Memento. I've seen Following. I've seen everything but Memento. So I'm going in with really high expectations. Um, I have seen no reviews of this movie, so I have no clue. It's probably my second or third most anticipated movie of this year. Yeah, he has been talking about it yeah, a lot. Like I've been on like John Flickinger's live streams just like hype to see this guys i'm so excited robert panson he's the new batman um we're gonna see how he does in this movie I'm, that's what i'm most curious is how is he gonna do and how's this movie gonna be um i watched the trailer i'm i want to learn more about this movie i want to learn what the hell the thing's going backwards and i'm like going up skyscrapers so yeah i'm really excited and yeah we're about to go see tenet <laughs> maria we're about to go see tenet we're I'm super, excited i'm super hyped guys um I literally, like I said, I feel like I'm Oops. doing something what did illegal. I, just do? I feel like I'm doing something illegal going to the movies right now. So, yeah, it's a really weird feeling. So yeah, but we're currently late, so we're gonna go buy our tickets, guys. I'm gonna leave my camera here, so I'll vlog a little on my phone when we're in there. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and quit the talking and get to the first impressioning, and let's go watch Tenant. All I have for you is a word. Something worse. Name it and pull the trigger. This is about survival. That part is a little dramatic. Alright guys, okay. right, ladies and gents, First thoughts. we just want to go see Tenet, um, I'm going to preference this, it's all, it's really late, we're pretty tired after that one. Yeah, it's and like 11.30, it was a two and a half hour yeah. movie, John Marco said it was three and a half hours and I was yeah, like, I was no. So, um, so how this is, sorry, so how this is going to work is, like I said, we're going to start off talking spoiler free talk about what we like what we didn't like and then give a grade and then we'll talk our spoilers okay so that's how it's gonna work for these reactions because some of you haven't seen it and yeah yeah it's still so there's, i think that's i'm fine. gonna ask you first what did you think of tenant without spoiling anything this is just what you thought um do you want me to go first because i feel like you're gonna spoil no something. i'm not gonna spoil it i just was lost a lot <laughs> and, and um yeah, I could, yeah. like i knew what was going on and then the second i knew what was going on something happened and i was like okay never mind i don't know what's going on 
Yeah. Start the car. Yeah. Yeah. Let me do that. So touching on what she. We're so professional. Going back to what she said. Um. So I've been seeing. I haven't watched reviews yet, but after we saw it, I really want to watch a ton of reviews. So what I'm gonna say is this: this movie. So if you've seen the trailer, this isn't a spoiler, you know that there's like some backwards weird time shit that Christopher Nolan is experimenting with, right? So he's taking a really complicated concept. It's sort of like Inception, right? Inception with the dreams, but this one being more time. So it's like Inception with the dreams, but this one is with time and reality. He takes that and unlike Inception, Inception's just a heist movie. That's how he made it conveyable for us she hasn't seen it but i've seen it that's how he made it understandable for us audiences is he made it a simple heist movie about doing that and it made it easier to understand this movie has a complicated concept that we don't that is never really explained a character literally says just don't understand it like what did she say try not to understand it that's what she said it's like so not he, for you to understand something like that yeah so he takes this complicated concept that we have no idea what it is about. And just starts doing shit with it. And like and then observing he, it. And then he takes a complicated plot that's even more complicated than the concept. I'd say the plot of this movie, I don't even completely understand. And I was really trying to pay attention. Oh, I had notes. Like I was, I'm more confused about the plot than the actual like reality thing and like I'll also say this. Technologically, this movie is amazing. Like, yeah, it's a beautiful movie. How it's shot, the IMAX, seeing in theaters. Seeing this being the first movie we've seen in theaters was awesome with the IMAX. It's kind of like Inception, the cool shots. You could definitely see he used the a lot of... The score is really good. I did like the score. The I do also know Hans Zimmer didn't do this score, which is usually who he does it with. The beginning I scene I really liked. The opening sequence opening is awesome. Scene. I'd say the first 20 minutes Honestly, of this movie yeah, is Honestly, yeah, the first awesome. act I thought was good. I thought the and first act is definitely the strongest. it was just like, no one got introduced. I didn't yeah. know... The characters are not good in this movie. I'm gonna say that right now. This is it's... not, no, this is not a character driven movie. This movie is more about the complicated plot that. and the complicated concept. That's what this, that's what you're going to see this movie for the technological aspect, the interesting concept, the that's action, about it. like all that's, of it. The yeah. action is handled well. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a little too much shaky cam for me. I'm I think more, it was a good I'm, balance. I like, obviously Nolan's one of the better shaky cam guys, and one of the better people to edit action and direct it i'm just more wide shots show everything that's going on like kind of like john wick kind of style of action but yeah the characters john david washington he just had in my opinion no charisma to him not even no one had charisma in this movie it kind of just felt Everyone like was very they were flat. all just blank face super talking. flat a fact they like, were just not... like they were just talking it was bland honestly like i wasn't invested in no any and, of the, and the thing is in the middle of the plot something happens which i'll talk about in a second that you need to be invested in the characters to care about the rest of this movie and we weren't there and you could tell we were kind of like getting a little like okay i, I don't completely buy this there shit. was one scene in like the first act where they actually explain like a little yeah, bit like of a, the background of one scene yeah and that's it it's and literally that was explained the only for five time. minutes the time stuff is that explained for five minutes and it's done and what Christopher Nolan did great with Inception is he used exposition scenes while to showing... To answer some questions? What, well, you haven't seen it. But I'm asking you. What he did was he did the exposition scenes, but he also showed how the exposition was handled with it. Here they just kind of talk about it, while in Inception they actually go in the dreams, show the concept of it. Like the So it's interesting it. to see it happening while you're getting told it. But yeah, all in all, I'm going to give my rating right now. In terms of giving this one like a rating, in terms of the quality, all that, I'd probably give this a B minus. I just wasn't invested in the characters. Honestly, if this movie wasn't like a well, if if Nolan didn't direct this and it wasn't a well shot, well made, well technological movie, because I also love watching movies based on that, I'd probably give this like a C minus. But adding that to it. I'm definitely going to rewatch this movie just for that stuff. I, I want to see behind the scenes of how he directed some sequences. Like, there is 
there's an awesome sequence where they literally practically crash a plane, which you also was in the tra um, trailers. It's awesome. So yeah, I'll give this one a B minus, and I would recommend you seeing this, but don't expect like a character-driven story. That's not what you're gonna see with this one. You're probably I just didn't care about the characters. Honestly, I only cared about Robert Pattinson. That's just because he's Batman. But even I was like, if he dies, I'm not gonna care. Like I, I just didn't, I just didn't care. No, I couldn't empathize with any so of what the would, characters. What would, what would you give it? Honestly, I don't want to be like mean, but I feel like just I be give it a C. I, I'm like I kept looking at my phone to be like, when is it gonna be over? And you and you kept looking at your phone at the worst times because it was the times where stuff was happening. And too. like, yeah, I mean, no, but like, I I'm, just, just I'm not, not gonna argue kind of... with you. I honestly only really like this movie just because of the technological. And aspects. I hate that this is like the first. Christopher Nolan movie I'm seeing in theaters. Yeah, this is no. Awesome. This is I don't even think I've seen any. You've of seen his... Batman Begins. Oh, well. The Batman movies, yeah. Okay, so did he direct Dark Knight? Yeah, he directed all of those. Okay, cause I the you beginning the scene. Yes. See, yeah. Okay, the now let's, okay, scene. okay. Now let's get into some spoilers. Beginning talk. scene, dude. So the beginning sequence of Tenet, it reminded me of the Dark Knight yes, too. It's a score, huge high scene, and the score is super. If you've the seen way it, it's directed. All which, of it. Spoiler warning. The movie starts out with like this big I'm opening so sequence and it's like in a dome and there's like this kind of heist kind of vibe going on it and it remind me me too of the dark night yeah, i was like get straight and the into score the action, too the, the score is and the awesome. shots the tracking shots it remind me of dark night so then uh john david john david washington i'm 90 percent sure that's his name he he dies in the trailer. It's conveyed that he dies, but he actually just gets put in a coma and then gets and then that's where the exposition scene happens of what's going on. But even after that, I was like, "You literally said just to not care about it." I'm like, I literally went to this movie because I wanted to learn more. And I felt like I came out with the same knowledge of what the hell is this time stuff. And going back to the characters, when I was mentioning there's a moment where if you don't care, you're probably not going to care about the second half of the movie. The moment where the girl dies and he goes back in time to save her, I was just like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, and I it just, was like, okay. I didn't care enough about their relationship because I didn't feel invested in it because there wasn't enough time put into it to make me care. And I don't know if it was an actual, like, romance or if it was just, uh, uh, like, him refer trying to be a hero in the movie and, like, want to yeah. save her because he cared about her. Yeah, the dialogue, too. Like, it was just, the dialogue was super dull. Yeah, like, it was one of those movies, uh, I mention this with rosemary's baby which that reaction's coming soon his favorite um the dialogue feels so unnatural it doesn't feel like people are just talking like with a quinn tarantino film you could you feel like these are people talking here it just feels like they're people reading lines with a bland face i was just like no like there there was there was no great actors like john um not john kane how do I, Michael Caine, he made a cameo in this movie for literally two minutes. You were like, if he's not there I again, said I'm going to be pissed. Because it's like, don't put Michael Caine in a movie just for him to be in a Christopher Nolan movie. It's like, give the man a role. Yeah. I just... And the bad guy. The bad guy sucks. I mean, it, I'm sorry. It really was... He just felt like bad guy that's all he felt like he didn't have motivation his motivation was to end the world because he wanted to be a god i'm that's like that's basic as fuck it's just that's so basic yeah and the whole plot, and then they just overcomplicate it with yeah, like, like these twists and, and then and then this and yeah, then it's, that it's, and it's just like it's, i can't and the movie jumps a i don't lot like too, when i have to like to sequence this is how i from felt with the normal reality to past reality and there's people yes, going forward and backward i'm like what the fuck is going on yeah that's how i felt with birds of prey like i kept getting confused like okay well birds I'm of prey okay. i'd say is a little more straightforward obviously but like even that movie was like too much going back yeah, and forth I, and this is like all back and yeah, forth it just, this movie so come on I'm gonna be honest. This this movie disappointed me. This I just is, feel like the execute. Like I. So I meant. I think it's cool. 
The ex but yeah, it's I'm a not well trying to movie. like downplay it. It was a really cool. No, movie. I understand. I understand your point. I just if wasn't, you enjoyed this movie, that's fine. Honestly, I, I could see it. I could see someone loving this movie just because of how awesome it is, the technological aspects of it. If you love this really movie, really cool I get action it. scenes. I get like, it. I get it. Just for me, I I need good characters to be well invested in a movie that's why i gave this i would write yeah. i go see this movie i'm telling you i'm gonna see it again in yeah, theaters because should. it's awesome it's an awesome movie but it's very aesthetically pleasing i too. just i didn't care too much and like i said the opening 20 honestly the opening 20 minutes i almost thought was perfect i was that high sequence is intense it was awesome so yeah i yeah I have really not. I'm too glad much that like I'm not the only one that feels like that because I, I was I, literally I would be like, Jim Marco, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, right and, now. I and was, then he would be like, Oh, you're good. I don't either. I'm like, I barely understand. <laughs> so this I was shit. like, Okay, phew, like it's not me. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely conf confusing, and I'm I'm. I did say I mentioned that the only Nolan film I haven't seen is Memento. I also haven't seen Dunkirk. But out of all his movies I've seen, this might be, besides following my least favorite of his movies, I would rather watch Interstellar, I'd rather watch The Prestige, I'd rather watch Insomnia, and of course the Batman movies. I'd rather watch all those over this movie because it's like, they actually have good characters for me to be invested in and a good story that is easier to follow. It's I understand Nolan, he likes to jump back and forth, but here... He just did it a little. I'm like, he overdid it. And then in the bit. third act, the, the third act just like came out of nowhere. The third I don't even, act was like, okay, then there was this cuts. random leader guy. Yeah, like random. Who I never introduced. Random who are you? Random who are you working for? I'm so confused. A girl came out of nowhere that was like part of this. I was like, wait, that yeah, was a broad. Yeah, like you barely even noticed it. I noticed it, but like. Yeah, the third act kind of, for me, came out of nowhere. Like, they were just like... I was like, okay, what is the, it? You can't kill him because of the realm. I forgot. It started with an A. Uh, yeah, guys. I was disappointed with this movie. I'm going to be honest. If you enjoyed it, I'm fine with that. I'm not going to make it... It's an enjoyable movie. Yeah, I for, just... me, it, for me, it was a lot more enjoyable mm. than for her, probably. Because this isn't her type of movie. I enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to see it again. I'm... Oh, I'm pretty disappointed though, Nolan. I think I think you could have done more with this. Or maybe he should have done less. Maybe he should have done less. I think he did he too much. I think he did do too much too. I think he was showing off. He was like, oh, let's rewind and fast forward. Let's show and them then, go with this. Yeah, and it was, yeah. and it's cool. Like I, lo I think it's awesome. But I mean, yeah. I'm just All right. trying to. All right, this is go. We've been going for 15 minutes, guys. We're gonna we're gonna cut it right there. If you guys enjoyed this first impression video, make sure you leave this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, let me know down in the comments what movies that are out you guys would like me and maybe her if she wants to come with me to go see and talk about. Thank you guys all for tuning in. And of course, if you guys would like to follow me on Patreon, there you can help support my channel and get a bunch of exclusive content like voting on polls and getting my full length movie reaction videos and not my first impressions because can't exactly show this yet. But thank you guys all for tuning in, and as always, keep watching movies. See you in the next See you all